Hi, my name is Jamie and I'm with MT Solar and we're gonna show you some best practices for digging and setting your pole in concrete. Today, we will be covering site layout, digging holes, setting pipes, and pouring concrete. Always call before you dig. We're doing a two pole mount, so the first thing you need to know is your pole spacing. Determine your pull spacing from your drawing or off of the order information. A lot of foundations are based on vertical loading, but because we're doing lateral loading or side loading, we recommend that you pour the concrete directly into the hole. That way it's in contact with naturally compacted soil, rather than using forms or sauna tubes that require extensive compaction procedures. When installing a multi-pole mount, Make sure the foundations are level with each other by using a water level, string line level, transit, or laser level. Use four two by fours, or whatever means you have available to frame up a collar to keep the pipe plumb. Today we're using a chain and binder method to lift the pipe and set it with your excavator. At the midpoint of the pole, attach directly to the front of the bucket. This gives the excavator much better control over the pipe than hanging it by the top, and it firmly grips the pole. Alternatively, you may be able to move the pole with a thumb or grapple bucket. Stand the pipe in the hole. Attach two 2x4s to the collar and use the concrete stakes to secure. While you want to keep your north to south spacing in a tight line, you have a little bit of play in the east to west spacing. You can be off up to six inches in your east to west spacing and make up for it later by sliding the pivot pipe in or out of the pull cap collar when installing the mount. Before pouring the concrete, Step the conduit through the foundation and up the pole. Remember to keep it an inch or more away from the pole to allow for the pole cap to slide up and down during installation. Depending on your AHJ, your pole may be your grounding rod and you might need rebar at this time depending on your engineering recommendations. Today we're using a five bag, five slump mixture. You're gonna wanna fill your hole with your concrete be sure not to fill your pole with concrete. Take advantage of having the excavator on site to do any finished groundwork you might want done. 